Now we're going to change grooves. We're going to go to a straight eighth drive and rock feel. And this is the sort of thing that on face value you might just play power chords and drive it. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I want to talk about all the different options you have. Not just with an overdriven sound, but we're going to go into some clean sounds. So you'll change hats. So let's give this thing a listen and we'll talk about what your options are. There you have the B. Then you're coming down to the A. Now they're both major chords, but we're going to have a real high gain sound, so we're just going to go with power chords. Now that establishes a nice big full sound. You can lay that in however you want. Well, now let's look at some rhythmic things. Now on that, I'm putting in some kicks. Notice I'm using all downstrokes, except for those accents. Now what's wrong with this? A couple things. Let's kill the track and talk about this. The right number, or the right strokes are very important for the feel. Here we have a driving feel. I'm going to change to a clean sound just to, so it won't be a mess. If I play. Again, going back to establishing the drum feel. The drum feel is not. That's relaxed because you're using down up strokes. So here it's imperative you have those constant down strokes. Palm mute. Can you hear how I'm emulating the drums? I've got the eighth note hi hat or ride going one and two and three and four, but then I've got the snare drum on two and four, your backbeat. sound like a fast Motown song with those sharp cuts. That's not what we want for this style. Then when I had the overdrive on, I started going, well, that's just a mess. You can't play the whole big major triad like that with that much gain, so we have to stay with power chords. That's one of the beautiful things about power chords and rock guitar. We can play roots and fifths in all kind of combinations, and this is Eric Johnson's a great exponent of this style of playing. So I'm going to play along with the track and give you a taste of what you could do with this. Then I'm going to break it down and show you how you can find these on your own. Let's listen to the track. Now, let me demonstrate without the jam track so you'll see what's going on here. To get the right approach here, you're going to play it like a keyboard player, meaning you'd play the notes simultaneously. So, as guitarists, we have to hybrid pick to accomplish that sound. Let's just start with the power chord you probably already know. There's your sixth string rooted E, F sharp, B. Instead of strumming it, you're going to hybrid pick it. So, on the right hand, that means the pick takes care of the lowest voice or string. Middle finger takes care of the next one. Ring finger takes care of the next one. And if we play four voices, your little finger comes into play. So that changes the whole feel. Let me demonstrate along with the track. I'll just pump the eighth notes with downstrokes, then I'll go into this kind of plucking approach. And you'll hear how it's more like a keyboard. Now we're going to change registers. I'm going to duplicate the same chord because I have root, fifth, root. I'm simply going to raise the fifth up an octave so that'll give me fifth root fifth. Let me start on the B right here. It's a little cleaner in the mix. And then you can double up some of the other voices. Let them bring together. This might be a little bit too much gain for this sort of thing. But now stop for a minute and you say, well, I'm, I don't have this hybrid picking stuff together yet. Make sure you always say yet because you're going to get better all the time. Well, you could still do this 
with the pick. Apply a slight palm mute and arpeggiate it in different fashion. 